Hi, Duck. Welcome to another Watch Me Work video. So I've got to tell you about this technique. If you don't have any glue, nail glue, in your salon, you can take your tip and dip it in acetone. It will melt it and you can place it onto the nail and it will adhere to the nail. Oh, my God. It's a game changer. You know, sometimes your glue just gets stuck and there's no way you can get that lid off and you've not got Adam around to open it for you, then <laughs> this tip is really, really cool. I'm checking the length of the nail with um, a sculpting form that I've put onto our metal files. So with that, I can actually test and look how long my tips are and I can get the lengths all right. And then we're gonna cut the length. Then we're gonna go on with the acrylic and do a full cover acrylic nail. Very salon viable. These are very salon nails. They're not massively long. They're like an almond shape, not too pointy, not too round, a very wearable shape. That's why a lot of people do have almond nails. And you can see I've even got almond nails on myself because they're just very, very easy to wear. And they are an easier shape to, to do as well. So I would de definitely say that this whole video is very catered towards a salon nail. We do put, obviously, we put loads of nail designs on because, you know, we can't just have nude nail stuff because that would be boring. I uh, do, you know, the, the majority of people do like to get those fairly more simple, you know, designs yeah. and, and things like that. And this one, like you said, it, it's a salon friendly. It really is salon friendly. I'm going to pinch the nail as well, just to make it a little bit slimmer. So I've got my pinching tool on. We sell these in two different colours. We've got the silver stainless steel, and then we've also got the deep rose gold, which is your favourite. I'm like, still don't know which one's my favourite. I've basically got at the studio, I've got the rose gold ones, and at home I've got the silver ones, and I love them both. But we've had people that have actually bought both because they just like them both. But you've got one one for being clean, so you've got one that's being disinfected, and you've got one that you can use, so it is actually good to have both of them. Just saying. More, more is more. So we're doing a two bead application. You'll notice that at the first bead that I put on is at the distal point. So that is the furthest part away from the finger. So that's on the tip. And then I put in the next bead at the cuticle area and I build the apex and I make sure everything's all nice and blended into each other. And we're gonna do this on all the nails. I mean, I'll tell you a secret. I have had some samples of some tips that we might be bringing out you know that are Ooh. phenomenal they're absolutely phenomenal and i probably shouldn't be telling you guys yet but yeah they are coming let everything go away to her <laughs> we've got a lot of things in the pipeline and what? i'm sure Kirsty drops hints and i think if, if people subscribe to you i think they find out even more don't they they do if you subscribe to my instagram subscription educational channel um Oh, uh, the secrets, they get spilled. It's like one of them, you've got to gra grab a grab a brew because I tell you, probably a bit more than I should tell you. And I'm sure Adam will kill me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, don't tell Adam I told you this, but, but yeah. And um, on that subscription, what I do as well is I give you a class each month. Also bring on different experts, whether they are nail art experts, or they are experts within the industry. So it is pretty cool. So once you've applied everything and you've done your pinching, we're gonna go in the hand file. So I've not even used my electric file on these nails because for me, they're an easier nail to do. So I don't need to do a lot of filing. I'm just perfecting the shape. I don't need to remove too much bulk. You'll find that I tend to use the electric file more so for shaping when I'm doing quite long, extravagant nails. So those kind of bespoke appointments that I get in. But for something like this, I'm quite happy to go in with my hand file. And the reason that I use the electric file on the longer nails as well is just to, to save the shoulder and the hands because, do you know what I mean? They're not going to last forever. <laughs> So you can see that I file the side walls, I get the cuticle area nice. 
then I get the shape. The easiest thing about almonds as well is if you're running out of time on an appointment and you think, oh, I've only got so long to do this lady because I've run behind and she wants a full set and she doesn't know what shape to have, I would definitely tell her to have an almond shape because they're easier to do. Plus, when you're filing the side walls, you can actually do the shape of the nail at the same time. So that, again, actually saves you a little bit of time. So if you're stuck for time, then definitely go with an almond full cover nail and when i say full cover i mean about putting the um, cover pinks over the top so we're going to file all them get them all nice and beautiful so you'll notice that i changed the angle of the finger i don't decapitate it i don't you know i don't just like pull it off the <laughs> off the client i actually position the finger sometimes i hold it on the side and you know one of my clients said to me the other day she who is actually a nail tech they said why do you hold the finger like that so i, I kind of explained the reason of why i change the angle of the finger and it's it's so i can see better and i can angle better rather than sort of fighting against the client and the position i will just flip it to the side and i can really get in there so make sure they're all nice and clean, dust free. Make sure the client hasn't been touching them with their fingers or resting them on their face and things like that. So they need to be all nice and clean. And then we're going in with the base coat. Now the base coat is going to give you maximum adhesion. Nice and thin. You can look how much I splay the brush. So I really fan that brush out so it forces the product to be super thin but it is a really important step. If you want longevity with good gel polish designs, get the base coat on. So now we're gonna take a selection of colors and you can do this with whatever colors you want. But the colors, we obviously decided this with the client, I go through a consultation and we pick all the colors that we're gonna use. I've also put a bit of crystal in. Crystal is our glitter. And it's like a silvery glitter. It's super sparkly. It's from the um, bridal collection. And then what I do is I scoop it up and then I place it down. And look at that, instant marble. Scoop it up with the fade brush and then just lay it down. And this allows you to not overwork it. So some people like kind of create the marble on their palette and then they smush it round and then when they put it on the nail it just all smushes too much and you don't see the separation of colour. If you feel like the product is too thick on the nail, take a lint free pad as you can see I'm doing here and what you can do is you can just tap it against it and it'll just drag off any excess. Same on this nail, drag it down, the fade brush will help you. You can always work it a little bit on the nail if you want to. Just watch you don't overwork it. I love these colours together though. We've got in this selection of colours, we've got Nanny Pam, we've got Cheser, we've got also Silly Billy, and obviously we've got a little bit of Crystal as well. And I think we've got Alex as well, that's the paler of the sort of bluey teal colours. And I'm using the very tip of the fade brush now just to add a little bit more of that teal. So if I think, oh, that needs a little bit more, I can always use the tip to do that. But I'm creating another marble palette here. And when I say that, I'm laying down the colours, keeping them in straight lines. They do not need to be perfect straight lines because this is going to be a marble. And then this is going to allow me to be able to slide through and pick up more marble. So pick up the product, place it on, and we're going to do French marble now. I love that when you pick it up, you get totally different effects each time. Like There isn't going to be one nail that's going to look the same. They are unique. I was very impressed that you were actually doing a French with a marble. <laughs> like, and getting that French correct. I mean, I know you're touching it up there. Yeah. Well, you can. You can go in and you can touch it up. But if you the fade brush actually, it's kind of glides across the nail quite easily. So you can get 
you know a decent French straight away but then you can actually then neaten it up and again if you have too much product so if it's like bulky because you want it to cure properly but you don't want it to be too bulky you can take your lint free pad put it under the nail and just kind of roll it to tap each side and it'll just drag off any excess so again we're just going side to side with this fade brush with with the product on there already so the gel polish is loaded on the brush and then sweep round sweep round and you have a nice little marble and you can work it again like i say you can work it a little bit but be careful and then you can create your smile line as well to clean up your palette i am going to take a dry tissue so this is so we have like bed roll or couch roll or desk roll some people call it all different things it's basically a big roll of tissue you can use your kitchen towel as well but use it dry to take off the wet product because if you add like if you add cleanup solution straight away then it'll just mix and then you can go in with your cleanup solution or even an antibacterial wipe and then you can create it so you can take off the rest of the product that's on that palette then we're going to go in with black and white. We want super high contrast because we're going to do exaggerated smile lines and we're also going to add these dots. This sort of design was um, dreamt up by my client and she was like, right, this is the vision I have and I sit down and I sketch it out with her, make sure we've both got the same vision so I know that she's going to be happy with the design. So you'll find some of these sections that we do will be black, some of them will be white, and then we will add the dots on after. So again, using that, I'm using the Cassidy Detailer brush because I know I really want to be quite precise with getting this really exaggerated deep smile on this nail. So if I use the Cassidy Detail brush, I've got a lot more control. But I'm going to get all the white sections done first, so I don't have to clean my brush in between. It's also going to save time with my client. Some people tend to complete one nail instead of doing each section on all the nails first. But what you need to do is do the same thing on all all across the nails so when i say the same thing i'm talking about applying the white gel polish and then you can clean that brush and then you can go on and do that it just speeds things up a little bit easy do you think it's because some people might be worried about sort of knocking it and things like that or yeah yeah but you can you know you can flash cure between but yeah. if you're using the same color you haven't got to mess about with changing it so now we're doing the black sections and we're going to do that all the way across all of the nails. You know, it's not it's not going to move. And if you're careful, you're not going to touch it and your client's gorge and they're not going to like be moving around and all that. You know, this isn't going to bleed anywhere. We're not putting this next to wet marble. The marble's already been cured. We've already got like a border for the colour to sit next to. So this black is sitting next to that marble design so it's not got nowhere to bleed now we're going to go on with the dots so i'm using the design needle of our pammy picker upper and i'm going to do some small some bigger we want all different size dots and the the way we create the different size dots is literally just going to spin we're going to spin the brush the tool sorry we're going to spin that tool and just create a bigger dot the more product you have on the design needle end of the Pammy Picker Upper, the bigger your dot will be. The less product you have on there, the smaller your dot will be. So we're going to go over the white with the black, and then we will go vice versa with the black. And you want to keep the dots within that section. So like we're doing the smile line now, make sure you don't go over onto the marble and you're not going to go over onto the nail bed either. They're just keeping it in that section so you've got that high contrast. I've also added a little bit of gold foil to the marble and I've just used the sticky layer of the gel to pop that down. This is quite, um, this, you know this like slither of white with the black dots and vice versa you could even do a set of nails with just that on without the marble 
yeah. which we like quite a quick, simple salon design. And like the- black on one side, white on the other. Yeah, that is actually really cool. As I'm watching it now, I'm thinking, oh. It reminded me of, um, of Madagascar Live last night where Marty the Zebra goes, am I black with white stripes or white with black stripes? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it'd look cool just monochrome, wouldn't it? Yeah, definitely. And, you know, the kind of swirly designs are really popular, but I suppose it's a different way of adding those swirly bits in. Then we're going to top coat with the glossy top coat, sealing everything and making sure we kick the brush around the very tip of the nail. By doing that, you're actually sort of capping the edge and it's going to have longevity. It's not going to peel or anything like that. What I do now is I go over with a buffer. So it's sealed, but then I'm going to buff to make it super smooth because when you're working with gel polish it's obviously a thicker viscosity and when you're creating your designs and everything like that so we're going to buff over it just to smooth it out it's not going to take anything away because we've also, we've already got that um protective layer on there which is the top coat the main thickest part of the nail will be the um marble so that's the main part that you're buffing and then we're going to seal it all with glossy top coat again just to make it super smooth add a bit of bling and you are done super cool design so there you are guys don't forget to check us out on facebook instagram all that shebang everything i've used today will be listed below and i'll see you later Ciao, look.